Before we start, I just wanted to say what happened a few days ago in London was wrong. Our hearts and prayers go out to the victims and their families. And our prayers and thoughts are also with victims anywhere else in the globe that are not receiving that much media coverage, like Myanmar, like Syria, like Iraq, Kashmir, many other countries. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> guys. Welcome to this new video on Smile to Jannah. I'm just going to be reacting to a video that Tommy Robinson released literally on the day of the attacks. For those of you that don't know, Tommy Robinson is one of the founders of the EDO, very extremist party that hates Muslims and migrants and all that sort of jazz. Tommy Robinson's a bit of a colourful character. He's been arrested for headbutting fellow EDL members, tried to enter America illegally. He was imprisoned for mortgage fraud and obviously the list goes on. I'm sure Tommy is a very nice guy, leaving out all the headbutting and fraud. I'm sure he's a nice guy and uh, he's just misunderstood. For those of you just joining, in the background there is the scene of the latest Jihad attack in Britain. Whoa! That escalated very quickly mate. He kind of kept the first few seconds quiet so you could kind of hear the police in the background. You can't see anything in the background, it's very pixelated. Yeah, for all you know, you could be standing on a totally different bridge. It's Tommy at the end of the day. Latest jihad attack. He's one guy by himself with a Muslim name. He runs over people with his car and stabs a policeman. How on earth is that fighting in the cause of Allah? Don't think you know the definition of that word, mate. We have, and right now, I know it's probably not the right time or place, people are like... <laughs> You're right, mate. It's not the right time or place, but he's going to do it anyway. We've had 12 jihad attacks, 12 terrorist attacks stopped last year. Wait a minute. Before we continue, what's your definition of terrorist? Because Dylan Roof killed nine black Americans in church. He wasn't called a terrorist. Jared Lofner killed a congresswoman and six other people. He didn't get called a terrorist. Craig Hicks killed three Muslims in Chapel Hill. He didn't get called a terrorist either. So it seems like this definition is just reserved for Muslims. Can we even take this word seriously? And you know what's more ironic? That left-wing groups have killed more people than Muslims have. But how comes they never get mentioned? When will the general public wake up to understand we're at war? The enemy are in our country and you're inviting more- Enemy? Oh, enemy. Are you talking about the Israeli lobbyists that have tried to overthrow certain MPs? Or maybe it's the numerous hacks that have been done by Russia and China and the UK, even during the elections? No? Oh, okay. So it's just a selective use of the word enemy then. Ah, oh, gotcha. You want more of them. You want them to have more power. You no. Who, who wants them to have more power? I want to stop people with ability to criticise and speak up against them. When are you going to realise that? When will the politicians realise that? This is just what people have been waiting for. Look in the background. This is what people have been waiting for? <laughs> Who's been waiting for that? At a time, there were four terrorist attacks last year or planned last week in, in Paris, in France. Just four last week. Four last week. You don't even hear about it anymore. Um, yes you do mate. It's all over the news, like all the time. At no point should any of us in any of our Western countries and anywhere in Europe be putting up with this backward jihad. Whoa, 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 where is he getting this from? How many times is he going to misuse the word jihad? I think he's just excited that he can pronounce the word, isn't it? Yeah. I remember the first time I learnt my long word, it was photosynthesis. <laughs> I was so excited. Those days, man, they were right photosynthesis. By barbarians that have been imported by our politicians. Imported and protected. And again, for Sky News, we're reporting an Asian. He wasn't 
Asian Asian is a Muslim on a jihad. There's that word again, mate. <laughs> Photosynthesis. I don't know the facts, obviously. If you don't know the facts, mate, why are you making such categorical statements then? <laughs> why are you even opening your mouth? <laughs> so he's admitted he doesn't know the facts, but he's talking anyway. There you go, mate. Nice hair, by the way. Yeah. So an attack happens, and we're at war, apparently. You'll find out further on in the video. Tommy has enough time to gel his hair, whiten his teeth, and exfoliate, and plod all the way down to Westminster Bridge and make a vid. Three are dead, up to 12 are injured. Nope. Good try. Give it another go. He then ploughed into the house. Ploughed into the Houses of Parliament. Ploughed into the Houses of Parliament. Nah, mate. He ploughed into the people and he ran inside the Houses of Parliament. Getting the things the wrong way around, mate. Ploughed into the Houses of Parliament and um, I believe he was shot. He got out with a machete or a knife. And this is it. Guaranteed already, yeah? The facts will come out, but the facts will be that this man was known to our intelligence services. The facts will be that he, he, the warnings have been there on this individual. When we're at war, you need to intern in the people who are at war with us, who you know are at war with us, rather than waiting them to commit t acts of terrorism like this, waiting them for going to murder innocent British people in the street. No, 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 wrong again, mate. Because most of the people that were killed were foreigners. Because they were foreigners, does it make it okay? Streets of our capital city like this. <laughs> man. And you'll have all the how how and, and all, all we'll have people saying is at the minute, oh, it's nothing to do with Islam. MI5 says it's got nothing to do with Islam. They say that the people who they've caught aren't really practicing their faith properly. Professor Scott Atran, who's a leading expert on radicalization, even he says these people don't practice their faith properly. And then you look at Robert Pape from the University of Chicago. He looks at all the attacks, suicide attacks from 1980 to 2005. And even he says that majority are done by secularists, in particular the Tamil Tigers, not the Muslims. It's everything to do with Islam. Everything to do with Islam. And any journalist who doesn't like what I'm saying, but I can tell by their eyes going up. It's the, well, we don't need to know anything. We know it's. Ooh, we don't need to know everything. Yeah, we do, mate. It's called the burden of proof. That's a basic fundamental of law. <laughs> act of jihad, don't we? We know it's a. Hope oh, it's an act of jihad again. There we go. Hmm? We know it's a Muslim on a terror spree. We know he's been commanded by his prophet to kill non-Muslims. He's been commanded. <laughs> Mate, there are 1.6 billion Muslims on the planet. If we were commanded to kill non-Muslims, you'd all be dead. That's what's happened in London. That's what's happened. There's no need to be politically correct. We all know what's happened. We all know what's happened. And the people responsible was for this. He's responsible, of course. But the people who are standing by them, who are protecting them, who are calling for more of them. There's a worldwide war going on. Really? Because the last seven countries to be bombed and invaded have been majority Muslim countries. And the reason why you got immigrants coming into your country is because, mate, the year old bombs falling because you're all paying for it with your tax money. Now, obviously I'm a Muslim and I was born into this country and this is my country, you know, I wanted to do well. And obviously if I wanted to do well, when obviously certain things aren't going right, I have to speak out. It's not that I don't like the country, it's the fact that I do. That's why I have to speak out. If I didn't, it would be an injustice. What was interesting was a Cobra meeting was held, 24 hours, news coverage, you had discussions on the radio, front page. But we have to understand when issues like this get ignited, then other equally abhorrent and megalomaniacal issues get sidelined. And we know less than 1% of terrorist attacks happen by Muslims. The question is, what are we being distracted from? Because let's face it, there's a lot of things going on and frankly we're not getting the answers. So it seems like a scapegoat has been put in front of us to distract us and direct all of our anger towards that issue but we're not getting answers for the other things that are going wrong. 
What other issues, I hear you ask? Well, number one, why has education become a death sentence? And it's become a privilege rather than a right? Why are 3.9 million people in our country in persistent poverty? While we've got enough money to wage war in foreign lands. Why is it that we're okay with London being one of the most spied cities in the world? Why is it that 1% of the population has the wealth of 55%? What is being done about paedophilia by MPs? Why is tax avoidance being okayed by the Prime Minister for corporations while the average Joe gets bullied to pay taxes well beyond their capability? Why aren't COBRA meetings held for these issues? Why aren't these issues given more media coverage? Why aren't these issues given front page access? And why aren't politicians called parliamentarian terrorists or banking terrorists or corporate terrorists? Why is this word only used for Muslims? These are all questions we need to ask. I'm not saying that we downplay anything. What I'm just asking for is equality. Let's not get distracted either. Yeah? Let's not lose focus and start directing our hate towards a small minority. Come on guys, let's be a bit more realistic. Yeah? And let's not let people like Tommy fool us into hating each other. Because it's only when we unite together on a common cause the fact that we are human beings and we all want peace. Once we unite on this platform, only then can we realize what's being done to us by the people in power. Let's just understand this. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.